Just we put it here and then you come in to the... Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict and as you saw already by the looks I'm in the safari. No I'm not, I'm actually in the back of Lino's skate shop and check what I have with me. Hey everyone! <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you all again. I'm Mohamed as you guys know, also known as Mo Fisher. And I got Ricardo back with me in South Africa. Yeah. So, Mo is also known as the fail man. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> the fail bail man. <laughs> the fail bail. No, so if you, if you guys don't know, basically about three weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. About three weeks ago, Mo has had like a massive fall. You're good, but he had like a fall going like 100 k's per hour. Now, that video is actually blowing on this channel right now, and over the last two days, that video had about 15, 20,000 views. So it was going like this, and then suddenly just went like poof. And I think I know why. The reason why that happened is because of another fall that also happened from a friend of mine from the UK. His name is Jack. Yeah. And Jack had a fall that. Just check this out. It's gonna be a party, y'all. <laughs> like coffee and cream i'm intertwined in your daily routine i wanted you to look my way i wanted to get closer touch you every day i want to get to know you call you my baby yeah everything was cool going all my way whoa ups and downs get the best of you now Okay, so Jack is like a really good friend with Nicola Torelli and the two of those, those two guys, they're like amazing urban skaters. And while skating in London with the Insta360 camera, which I have one here, don't I? Yeah, I do have one here. He was just skating with one of these. And I guess before I even tell anything, the best that we can do is call the guy and ask whatever. Yeah, yeah, let's give him a call. But before calling him, I really think what's happening it's because of his of his fall that I've been having a lot of shares. Like I posted it on Facebook and I have 15,000 shares. I had almost half a million views in less than 24 hours on that video. Casey Neistat shared it on his Twitter and it's, it's been like a hit over the last 24 hours. The truth is, since I posted that, kind of like created like a little inline skating trend. trend yeah. Even if it's look for fails, it doesn't matter. It's gonna wake some people's minds. Most definitely. <clears throat> so now the two fail bails. Yeah, get us <laughs> trending guys. <laughs> now let's just call Jack and see how it goes. Can you hear me now? Ah, I can hear you now, I can hear you now. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm recording your voice from the camera and uh -huh. I'm recording the image from the phone so bear with us guys we're trying to do an online thing here it's not it's not live but we're gonna put it live later so I don't know if you know did you, did you ever saw the bail from Mo about three weeks ago yes <laughs> Yeah, that was no, that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you feeling? Yours was weren't wasn't less crazy, so. Yeah, that was like a massive impact shot. What happened? Do you yeah, want to tell us a little bit? Do you want to tell us a little yeah, bit yeah, more what happened? Okay, so basically, um, I was I was skating in London with Nico, which is my usual my usual routine, and um, I was skating with him, and he's like, "Oh, you know, you should and we, we, I basically wanted to take his Insta360 out for a short ride and just get a really chilled out skate. I wasn't even planning on doing any skitching or anything quick, exactly. I just wanted to skate relaxed and, and enjoy it. And obviously I was skating, listening to my music and I saw a little skitch and I held onto the car 
And then I, I did what, you, what most people do, which is I was on the road and the gap between the cars were too small, so I just thought I'd jump onto the pavement so I wasn't going to be, you know, I wasn't going to be squished between two cars. And I, just as I jumped on, an Uber door opened. I didn't even see it until it hit me, and I just smacked straight off the Uber door, smacked into the wall. And all I remember is just sitting there next to that lady. And I was just like, oh my god, that was intense. That was <laughs> crazy. And that was your body after that. Um, well, actually, at the time it was a bit better, but the next day uh, it seized up a bit. I've got uh, my rib is quite sore. It might, it could be fractured, but you can't do much about a fractured rib. So, and my and my leg needs a good couple of weeks of recovery. It's swollen up quite a lot, but um, yeah, it's, it's it's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. I'm really lucky I didn't hit my head actually. Dude, like. I'm the worst. I'm no one to say anything for you to use a helmet or not. I try to use it now. I try to be more responsible with the family and all that. But the truth is there was a lot of times that I didn't use one. But if that door would have opened one millisecond before... It would have been way worse, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a helmet as soon as possible. I really am. For the streets getting stuff, I'm gonna get one. That's good. Have you seen most of the comments that, like before that, let me even tell you. So you know some of the people that, re that posted it already. The guys from Insta360 right after that started contacting me a lot. Now even Casey Neistat's wife reposted it. Oh wow. But, but repo she reposted it just saying, idiot. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's fair enough. That was, the question is, the question is, what do you think of it? Because I, I know that you told me I, I was playing around with you on on an Instagram post and say you should get money from those Uber guys, and you told me like to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So so for me, I think I think I think it's my fault. I'm going to take responsibility for it because I was moving really really quickly, and I changed from going from the road onto the pavement, and I was going too quick for them. So even if even if she checked out the window before she opened the door, she wouldn't have seen me. So, yeah. And so the music, I man. Think it was a bit and the music, and the music, the, well, music yeah, the music, the music makes it also a bit. I know it feels better, but there's some. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not, yeah, of course. I'm not calling you to point fingers at anyone. I'm no one to point fingers. But the truth is, what I was going to say is that my, my, I, po I made a little post on Facebook just saying like I'm glad you're safe, and my post on Facebook with that little yeah. video, at fifteen thousand shares. It had almost half a million views in less than 24 hours. And now what that did, you know what that did? That did that his video <laughs> that was like on 30, was like on 37 views yesterday. Inst instantly from yesterday to today, that video has almost 60,000 views. Because yeah. it, what happened is your video created a little, maybe you're not aware of it, but your video created a little inline skating trend so your video generated yeah, yeah, yeah. people to go watch more stuff similar to it or googling it or whatever and this stuff started showing your stuff started showing so even if it's with the bail I, I, I first obviously wanted to check how you are and I wanted to tell the people watching this what's up and because I've been in contact with you but most of the people haven't so I wanted more people to know what's up with you yeah, of course, of course. and what was your opinion about it and yeah, all that yeah, yeah but that was it <laughs> yeah man and we're glad you're actually yeah, safe uh, yeah absolutely man thank you guys thank you guys and i think all the people who are saying things like oh he's an idiot and he should have been more careful you know I, it, they're, they're totally right like I, I made a mistake i was going too quick i wasn't wearing a helmet i was listening to music and um a whole bunch of people have said like you know this is really dangerous and even that it shouldn't be shared online because the skate community could be damaged by it but um you know i've i, I see i think for social media that's fine but I've seen it put on, um, I have requests from media outlets who want to put it on big TV shows and on the news. And they're offering to pay me money to do it, but I've said no to them because I think that if it goes, if it goes too far, I think it is going to be worse for the state of the community rather than better, I think. But, yeah, I um, get it. I fully understand. At the same time, it's, it's good that the skating is being seen, but I also understand that you don't want your image connected to that. Now, the thing is, yeah. I've been following what you've been doing it for a while. And yesterday, someone told me a word that I actually made a post later on Facebook about it. Because what I see is that the skating that you and Nico do, it's, it's obviously very skilled, but more than that, the way that you guys capture it with the Insta360 camera, with the sound and the way you guys move, the way you guys dress, it's something that the best word to this to explain what that is, it's satisfying. 
And then it's like something, it was a word that I never used for skating, for seeing skating. And it's, it was the guys from Insta360 that said, they, they showed me, we were talking about your video and then they, sh they also showed me the video from Nico. And they said, there's something satisfying about watching these two guys Skate. skating. Wow. Now, because of my job, I need to do this, man. I've been, I've been satisfied watching you skate and I want to make this video to ask you if, if you're keen on starting to skate micro skates. <laughs> That's awesome because I, I know that you've been skating with Nico. I know that you know about the skates and for me it was like man It's not a, it, obviously it helps for a brand that you have the amount of exposure and dude I've, so, I've seen your Instagram grow from 1,000 something to 5,000 yeah. in one, one. day <laughs> But it's, it's not even about that. I told you now like you're gonna have a lot of people because it, it's people that are looking at what you're doing so all that people are actually going to be engaging with you the next post obviously for a brand it's good but it's not just that like I said there's something that like the other guys this they described it it's satisfying to watch and yeah. I, I want people to look at uh, someone that make something look satisfying and want to look for what skates are they using yeah yeah <laughs> Cause that, that's my job <laughs> <laughs> the thing that me and Nico talk about all the time, and I know you talk about it as well, Ricardo, is that I think, unfortunately, style is just a massive part of what grows the skate community. I mean, Most it's definitely. Off, and it's, it's not a problem. Rollerblading has to have some sense of style, and everyone can have an individual style, but you're right, if you make something satisfying, it's going to be so much better than something that people just watch, you know, it is. Off, off the cuff. They don't Enjoy it. Yeah. yeah, I get it. It's like if, if someone is skating, but it, they don't make it look appealing, it's normal. Like some people will want to do it because they want to lose weight or because they want to uh, challenge themselves. But it's different from the kid that wants to look cool. And you guys make it look cool. So it doesn't matter if you fell or not. <laughs> Man, yeah, seriously, it doesn't really matter if you fell, but I feel a video like that is gold. Yeah, because like, look what happened. <laughs> it's all good, man. I'm, I'm like basically I made this call to check if you're okay to share with some people watching this. How are you feeling? And that's it. Thank you for taking the time. And ma man, no, please no worries, man. feel better before putting the skates on. Next time you're putting skates, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make sure that you put on the right skates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Cheers, we stay in contact. Thank you so much, man. Have a nice trip. Safe trip. Cheers, Cheers. man. <laughs> and that was it, Mo. <laughs> yeah, amazing. So, once again, um, the exact same thing you guys did for me. I really appreciate everything, all the kind words and everything like that. It really made me feel uh, appreciated and also made me heal up on the inside than out. But So, you guys can actually do the same and head over to Jack's yeah. Instagram page and man show some love yeah it's, it's been getting a lot of obviously there's there will be people that give you eight yeah which course, is normal but course. it's not always bad like we need to understand like as an example if i look at this thing not as a skater or not as someone that knows him if i look at it as a father imagine if you dude if you're if it's your wife girlfriend whatever that's in the car if she opens the car if that happens to her or if it's your wife that it's sitting there and if he's speeded by the car and if he hits her a lot of people were actually, even skaters, some of the people was actually mad at him. That's why I wanted to make this because Jack is like, he's conscient. He know yeah, what he yeah. did and it's not someone that is looking for this type of trouble. He want, he's someone that wants to skate and that's why I wanted to make this yeah, video. Yeah, man, he's a conscious skater. If you go down in his feed, you wouldn't <sighs> see any idiotic skating. Um, like it's... some people would call it. Um, I just think yeah. it's a very awesome skate and it was a mistake. Yeah, accidents happen. Accidents, accident, you know? accidents happen. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This type of content is not the usual content here. But, well, the main goal with this channel is always the same. It's to promote skating the best that I can. So this thing somehow was promoting skating in a positive or in a negative way you tell me leave me a comment let me know what you think about it but what we try to do here it's if it's in a negative way to try to show what was actually going through the other people's head before something like that happened yeah so that's it if you like it thumbs up if you didn't like it let us know what you didn't like and like i always say more important than anything else don't forget why we all started skating because it's fun Cheers, Cheers. Guys. it feels good to be in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs>